Evening all, welcome back to Eve. So, what we're going to do today is have a bit of a chat because there's some exciting things about to happen in Eve. And I'm going to do this live. Look here, ship spin, woo! And I kind of thought I'd do this live because it'd be good to sort of talk to uh, you about some of the exciting things that are coming. Don't worry, this is no door knock uh, with somebody holding a very suspicious looking black book. Not doing that. Um, just thought it'd be interesting to kind of walk you through um, something that's coming and I think you should all get involved with and it's Eve Vanguard. Don't switch off! Don't switch off! Please don't switch off. It will be engaging and exciting and I'll even show you the origins of the crapper. Ever wonder why the toilet is called the crapper? You'll find out towards the end of this video. Um, I'll do this, doing this live because I thought it might be good to just kind of walk through kind of my, my general process because I've been asked actually quite a lot of questions about some of the industry stuff. Um, I, I'm no expert in this, I'm going to point that out. I really don't know what I'm doing most of the time. Um, in life, in fact, I think that's true. But I think as soon as you embrace that sort of chaos, um, you know, the worry of are you doing something right or wrong has always paralyzed people into inactivity. If you try and avoid that and just do things, then then do it. It's, it's, it can only be a good thing. In fact, I'll take, take you back. In fact, while I do that, I'm going to finish buying things. Um, I always remember when I did Dust videos, which some of you may remember. Um, Dust 514 was the game. It was by CCP Products, and it was a good game. Um, but w the reason I started doing videos for it was because I just thought, well, why not? <laughs> I didn't think about it overly. I, and you could probably tell that from the way this absolute monkey's tea party is thrown together. But basically, it, that's a great marker for life. So like, if you want to do videos of a game, go do it. Nothing stops you, everything is there, it's all free. And I think put it online and talk over it and make something because I, I take real sort of pride in the fact that um, anyone could do this. <laughs> and I am certainly the person to prove that. So I just think in life, you know, don't don't let inactivity slow you down. So, and that's why I kind of say, look, with things like Eve Vanguard coming up, you know, obviously I'm an, an evangelist of this game. Don't worry, I don't mean in like the gaudy way. I mean in like the sort of preachy way. I, I hope it does really well. Um, I'm a bit worried from what I've seen so far. I'm never gonna be a fanboy, and those of you that probably remember my old Dust videos, I was highly critical of quite a lot of stuff CCB did. Um, not to sort of poop on them, it was more to kind of um, hopefully get something better done for the game, and, and I think that was always my driver, and I always wanted to um, to do that. So anyway, my, my kind of wish for you all is to wish list Steam on Steam eVanguard, please do that. You have no idea how much that will help them, because anything in life is about getting somebody to invest in you. And I know this only too well. It's about making people believe in what you're selling and then put some money behind you. Without that money, you wouldn't have a lot of what we've got today. So please do consider that. I do want to, I want to try and get Eve Vanguard to be a next sort of product of this game. And I think, again, a multi kind of product business that CCP could be, I think that's kind of exciting. As I, as I talk, I realize I should be buying things. Um, this is what I do, by the way, again, slight aside. People ask me, do you place buy orders? I used to, but the way that the market is now, there's just no point. So I just buy things outright. Sorry for my noisy keyboard. I've got one of those stupid, clacky, noisy keyboards. Um, and I just find that sometimes it's better to, um, to just buy it straight from the market because it just means that you get basically what you need quicker. There's no point holding up. I mean, you just saw what I bought here. That's actually a relatively modest purchase, not a lot. There's not a lot of things there. It's because I've already got quite a well-stocked hanger here. Um, what I'm doing is buying, you know, Tech One minerals or minerals rather for the Tech One production, and then for Tech Two production, you need all the um, all the gubbins and, and goopy things that you get from moons. Morphite's obviously the key, the, the kind of linchpin here. There's a lot of morphite. Uh, being used, um, but all the other things, you know, tech two moon production, blah blah. You need all that as well. So, and then always forgetting these bits here. You know, you do need transmitters, robotics, things like that. So that's what I'm doing. So, it's obviously frightfully boring. Um, right. So let's head back to our base now. The reason Vanguard, it's important that that product at least has some following, is you know, CCP can't be a one-trick pony, and I think you know a lot of gaming production software houses do struggle with um oh, wrong one they do struggle oh my god i can't literally play this game unplayable unplayable um the 
a lot of developers need to have the what's the next big thing what's the next product and even in the dust days i always said if you could have a multi universe game or rather multi-platform universe you're doing something right and i do think that is absolutely the right way to think about this because I've always said having a ship game like this where you're kind of flying a ship that then has also a real another game happening within it I think is exciting and now I know they, they're very difficult things to do because obviously that's an incredibly challenging thing um, but the benefit of that obviously is that you've got then a second game second income but it's about differentiation because anyone can go and make another star citizen because that's really what Star Citizen's doing. It's trying to be the ship game. It's trying to be Elite. It's trying to be Eve. It's trying to be, um, I don't know, shooty space game. And that's good because it obviously creates a buzz. And look at the amount of money that they've taken in on that game. I mean, if CCP had just a tenth, a, a hundredth of that revenue, think of what they could do with it. Because I do believe, and again, I'm not, I'm no fanboy for CCP, but I do believe of all the games I've played, there's something special about EVE, isn't there? I mean, if you're watching this video, you know what I'm on about. You must do, because there is definitely something challenging and interesting about this, this game that we all seem to love, as I do a quick look at the overview, just to make sure I'm not being targeted. Um, I know I'm going to get ganked at some point, but it's okay because I don't always use this character. I do, you know, flip around and use some of the other ones. So, um, you know, if you want to gank me, go for it. I'll give you some risk. <laughs> That's a challenge. Um, but I do, you know, I do find that you do, um, you do have to get behind some of these developers. And I do think CCP, I mean, believe me, they are annoying as hell. I mean, I, I always laugh at the rage that people give CCP because I've done it myself when they change things in dust that I loved, like the flaylock the the jumpy scout flaylock nonsense that i used to do you used to be able to stack those suits up with basically jump modules so you could just jump like 20 foot in the air you look like a a giant death bunny from easter and i always liked that i always thought that was a cool thing it was obviously broken so obviously it's going to get nerfed but i think a lot of people don't like that i, I always remember hearing about povchen you know the the sort of povchen nonsense that you know as soon as people start to build a fort on the top of a hill that they just then you literally print gold from they then get really angry that it, the game gives other people they change the game to allow people to to get them off that hill it staggers me that people could be so stupid that they don't realize it's a game it's not life like in real life they do this as well they legislate so in the uk we have a lot of landlords who basically have stopped anyone else buying property now and you know seriously they they're they're annoying people i don't approve of it i mean i i come from a world where that's very prominent investment etc but yeah you know, my view of that is i mean you know i can't believe i'm about to agree with something that xi jinping once said but he once said that property is for living in and homes not to make money from and he made it illegal in china to to basically make money from property like renting it like a landlord you had to there's more social obviously it's communism and i'm not saying i'm, I'm not advocating that in any way before you you start calling me comrade but my my feeling was is he's not wrong because you have to have some bits in life that don't completely destabilize new generations as they come and in the uk how young people will ever i mean i'm old I bought a house when it was two pound twenty, basically tree fiddy down the block. You know, you go to a post office and you go with a fiver and you come back with a twelve bedroom house, and that was kind of how it felt a bit like that. Whereas, you know, I watched the first time I bought a house, which was a long time ago. I remember thinking that is just a scary amount of money for what I'm getting, and now I look back on it, it was the bloody best investment I ever made. But that is no longer possible, and I feel terrible for younger people now. Um, who will maybe never do that and that makes me really sad so I'm more than happy that they legislate that particular bit away but anyway that's what CCP had to do here is they have to kind of step in and legislate dare I say the word to change the game so that it's fairer and I, I don't quite get why people I mean I get I do get it because so I'm not stupid I understand why people are annoyed at that because I was annoyed when my jumpy prototype scout thing was changed but I kind of said, well, you know, if the game continues, otherwise, if they just made this one ship that was perfect and killed you every time, the game would be, die be dead in months, weeks, potentially. So anyway, there we go. 
Um, what did I do then? I just bunged a load of stuff in the right hangers and we can carry on building. So this is how I'm building now. So those of you that are interested, what I do is I now just show all blueprints. So you can basically see the BPO there. You can see the BPCs, check one, and you can build invention from that. And then you can see the B, uh, T2B uh, blueprints there. I can't believe I've done invention for all this time and I never really worked that out. And all I do is just show current station, where it is, all blueprints. And if you want to, you can filter by group, but that has been a, a huge time saver for me because for example here we've got you no know, we don't have enough heatsink ones we can just click heatsink one and make 50 of those buggers as long as it goes into the right hangar that's all that basically matters um so i do really urge everyone to try vanguard when it comes out i do want people to um to try it i think it's definitely got it's got to be worth a go right even if it's i mean you know it's going to be a bit scant and it's going to be a bit wonky, as we would say in the UK. It's a bit wonky. It's a bit, a bit of a bit of a muddle. I think you better just accept it. Just accept it. It's going to be worked on. It, you know, our feedback will make it better, etc. And you know, dust was like this. It was exactly the same. It was something that took a fair bit of. Oh gosh, I've only got two runs on these. That's a waste of a slot. But oh well. Um, it was something that I think um, they made much better over time. So eVanguard, I think it's the 28th of November, so a couple of days from now, hopefully when you see this, um, they're going to make a public play test and I do urge you to try it. Now, don't just try it and say, oh, it's a load of shit, and then log off. If you, if you log in, try it, and it is a load of shit, tell them why it is. Give them some feedback. It's one of those things. It's constructive criticism. I mean, everybody should accept constructive criticism. Like, I remember being sat in a meeting once, and um, it was quite an important meeting, this particular client in the oil petrochemical industry. And I was called a wanker. This guy just called me, you're a wanker, you are. And I remember thinking, uh-oh, that's, that's not a good sign when your client turns and says, you, finger points at me, you're a wanker, you are. And I always remember wondering why he did that. So I, I sort of, you know, I laughed it off. Ha, 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 funny, funny, funny. And then literally after the meeting, I went up to him and said, did I do something? He says, no, I like that you're, you're a difficult, challenging sod when you want to be. And I'm like, okay, so there you go. Constructive criticism, constructive feedback. It's all good. And I would urge everyone to really engage with that because I do think, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot here. So with the Vanguard, you know, do please give it a go. Um, and I'm going to not talk about it anymore because I think I've, I've whittled on about it quite a bit. My view of it is I just hope it's good. If it's not, well, then, you know, what can we do? We'll just have to see what Star Citizen has to do. But I, I do worry that without another game that is you know, kind of coming, I do think the fact that CCP is owned by another company as well now, that means there's going to be a lot of people asking questions here. That does make me slightly worried. So, you know, please do, ah, oh, my computer's frozen. God damn it, there we go. I do worry that there is going to be basically um, some questions asked as to why, once again, they've tried to do boots on the ground, blah, blue, and it's not worked. And, you know, for me, I think what they've done so far is good it looks good i haven't played it i'll point that out i'm not part of any vip nonsense my opinion is going to be mine not tainted or soured by some sort of corporate um hey let's let's get him on side i'm not like that i don't want to do that i would rather give my honest opinion you're like yeah yeah jeremy bear no seriously i'm not i if it is crap i will say fully it is a load of bibble and I think that's the thing is it, it, you have to kind of engage with the process in a fair and common way to, you know, and I was always told, you know, in anything, never go with your first gut instincts. It's called first thoughts. Never go with your first thoughts. Don't even go with your second thoughts after you've thought about it for a while. You know, how did I feel about that? Because again, you could be being manipulated here. Go with your third thoughts. Terry Pratchett wrote a wonderful book about um, about this, and I'll talk more about that another time if anyone's interested. But third thoughts are the ones you believe in because they have had time to bake, and I think that's exactly what you should do: is give some time to it. So don't don't just log in, play it, say it's shit, walk away. If you say it, if you think it's shit on your first thought, give that first first thought in some form of the feedback. Go to the Discord, the e Vanguard Discord. Join it, by the way, if you haven't, and give your honest appraisal as to why it's a load of you know bibble, and then 
have some time to digest it. It's a new game. There's maybe not skins in place. The textures are probably crap. The mechanics are probably a bit wonky. Think about it as a holistic whole, which obviously sounds really cool. Um, if you if you think of your whole, <laughs> what does it feel like? Oh, it's getting worse as I say it, but you, you get my point, hopefully, that there should be some sort of, oh, okay, that was actually kind of cool. I kind of like the gun bit in that, and I kind of like this and that. That's what we hope, well, I hope that you kind of, oh my God, how many power diagnostic blueprints have I got? Anyway, um, that's what I'm hoping people kind of get into is that feeling of, well, okay, it could be something that maybe comes over time. Anyway, let's talk a bit about Eve. So Eve is going rather slowly at the moment because Stalker 2 has just come out and that game is just a masterpiece. I love it to pieces. It's a few funny bugs in it, but it's just like the old Stalker games of old. It's just really good. Um, and obviously Factorio, my, my hopeless and eternal addiction to Factorio. Um, and I, I do now I do videos of it. I can't help it. I just love it so much. Um, you know, that is going to be the game I probably die playing. Because uh, I could just see myself in hun you know, hundred years, in, in like you know a number of years, playing that game and on my deathbed and saying I'm going to die until I build this bloody you know carbon plant, and I kind of like that because it's just one of those games you're like yeah you'll play that probably for years and there's there's only a f I mean Eve is another one Eve is a game that I've played for twenty plus years now not always and same with Factorio not always. Um, the, the games that I always liked that were kind of like that were things like Space Engineers. I did like Space Engineers, but I've lost touch with it. Um, you know, like an errant sun that never comes and visits. I never really sort of see much of Space Engineers anymore. It feels as if it was a bit of a cash grab, if I'm honest, and they've now kind of gone, ah, you know. I know they're still doing stuff for it, but it, it feels, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right, damn it, it feels wrong. Oh, I can't invent that, I haven't got the skills. That's interesting. Oh, these are my crap characters. So I've got two characters here that are basically a load of balls. And I've just had to like spend ages, I even put a skill injector into one of them, that shows you how dumb I am, uh, just to try and get them over the line. And look, they're in tangos now, which is obviously cool. Um, that took a fair bit of effort, but again, if I show you the bloody fitting, I can't make it work. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I've got this fitting that I've always been quite partial to, because it's quite a good fitting, but I can't get it to, to wear. These are only Tech 1 as well, because obviously, you know, to how long does it take to do Tech 2 missiles? Screw that. So. A um, bit of work needed on them, but again, when it comes to industry, ugh, again, still a bit of work needed. So, you know, it's a bit frustrating, really. All the other accounts can do everything. There's no there's no delay or problem with that, um, but it's very annoying. But there we go. So, yeah, I mean, I know not an awful lot of activity in today's video. I mean, I just urge people to try and, you know, have a look at Eve Vanguard with an open mind. An analytical and appraising eye is needed. Don't go with your emotions to begin with. Go with what you feel is logical. You know, if it is literally like the worst shooter ever, then fine, say that. I'm never going to not say to say what you really believe. But always approach it with that view of, well, will it get better? Is it just fundamentally flawed from the ground up? And I used to look at tools back in the day. I used to be sort of asked to go on like investment panels. And I would look at certain tools and they would be like, should we put money in this? Should we even buy the company? And I was always like, oh, Christ, you know, I, I hated doing it because I'm an absolute incompetent fuck. So to get me involved with it was always kind of like, why are you asking me this? This is like the stupidest thing ever. Um, and nine times out of ten, what you're looking for is the basis of the company being of solid sound uh, and, and kind of in an interesting proposition. So for example on Dragon's Den or I think we call it Shark Tank in America, they're not looking at whether the, the, the you know, the Wizging 5000 is actually a good product. They're looking at the company and the people. Could we do something with them? And I find that that's what you should look at Eve Vanguard with is to say, the product might be an absolute load of bilge, but it doesn't matter because is it is it a good team? Is there potential here? Are there exciting and interesting features that could be developed? And if all of that is no, then fine, don't go with it. But do give it a try. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. <laughs>